today I'm so much humbled to be able to have a sitting with the Director General Ministry of Education of Health in Somaliland. My wonderful people, how are you doing? Remember, you're watching Mikali Global TV right from Hargeisa, Somaliland. And our slogan remains, it's Somaliland to the world. Today, I'm bringing to you an exclusive interview from the Ministry of Health in Somaliland. And uh, we talked about several issues that are affecting our country in terms of uh, maternal health care, uh, the pharmaceuticals, and generally everything that entails the health system of our country. He is in charge of that sector and he took us through uh, several plans that the government has on how they are going to implement better health care for the people of Somaliland. So wherever you are in other countries out there in diaspora and you are planning to come back to your motherland, Somaliland, feel much welcome because everything on the ground is gradually uh, being put in place for the better health care of the society in this country. So Dr. Mohamed, I am humbled to be having this sitting with you. Yeah. Thank you Esther. Uh, if I give you a, a brief information about the how is health how is health sector Somaliland developed and uh, what are the uh, activity that uh, so far has been done? Uh, actually, the health sector of the Somaliland is uh, composed the private sector and public sector. Uh, as you know, the private sector is uh, more developed than the public sector because when the uh, Somaliland is created and when the uh, the people of Somaliland they coming back in Somaliland, the private sector started immediately and they they developed it without a uh, regulation. Uh, the Minister of Health is uh, responsible for the public and private sector, uh, mainly the regulation, coordination, uh, and and and, uh, uh, and and legislation of the uh, uh, different uh, sector of the private and public. So, uh, if I start in the public, uh, we have uh, more than 180 uh, mother and health, mother and child health centers, okay. which is called the MCH mm -hmm. or health centers, yes. uh, dispersed in the all the country, all the Somaliland uh, territory, yes. and. Uh, there is also 160, mm -hmm. 160 health schools. This health schools is uh, smaller than the health center. Okay. And we have also uh, more than 35 hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, composed uh, a national hospital, uh, and regional hospital, and district hospitals. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, they, we have a, a five years uh, strategic and health sector strategic plan. Mm -hmm. We have a national health policy, yes. uh, which uh, was developed in uh, 2011, but we are revising now mm -hmm. and 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 uh, renewed now currently. Uh, and uh, we have uh, different public and private partnership strategies and a programmatic strategy uh, accordingly. So uh, he, he, there was a, a, our our main a, a activity is a, a, is to a, how the a Somaliland people getting a, a good standard or good quality health uh, yeah. health care yes. uh, however we have emphasized the mother and child mm -hmm. the mother and child activity is mainly free uh, because the this one 180 and 160 uh, health uh, facilities uh, they provided free service to the mother and child right. uh, most of the hospitalists is partially free because they has been uh, working what's called cost sharing. So yes. the people they they uh, they they provide the people they pay some uh, small money in order to uh, to to uh, sell some drugs and 
and to uh, recreate the activity of the of the of the hospital. Yes. Uh, uh, the private sector, we have a good relationship with the private sector. Uh, there was a strategy that we have been developing. We, we have been working some partners that are uh, more willing to engage the private sector. Yes. Uh, and we have regulating, we have regulating the private sector uh, 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 overall. Yes. So, uh, uh, in terms of the drug is, uh, there was a, what is called a, a, a drug regulatory authority mm -hmm. which belongs with the with the uh, with the minister of health yes. uh, this drug regulatory authority uh, the main activity that has done is to uh, prepare the national drug list which already done yes. and they also uh, prepare the when they for example wholesaler is uh, wanted to uh, to to sell the drug is they should uh, come to the, the Department of Health Service in order to uh, see the list that they wanted to uh, to, to, to import. Yes. This list should be uh, verified with the, with, the, with the Minister of Health okay. because there is a restricting drugs. Mm -hmm. So we have a, although a, it's not a 100% implemented, we have a good relationship with the, with the private sector. Yes. Uh, Actually, uh, we have been working with the different partners, okay. uh, international community. Yes. The, the partners mainly working with us, the area of the mother and child, yes. and, and they are supporting the uh, mother and child, like the immunization program is, mm -hmm. like the uh, maternal, uh, neonatal, adolescent health. Yes. They also working with the gender facing balance uh, area. Mm -hmm. uh, th there is also a uh, different partners that has been working with us with the global fund program. It's like the TP program, mm -hmm. uh, malaria program, and AJV program. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 so uh, the the uh, and 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 I wanted to say that the. The government Somaliland itself, they have a budget which is uh, increasing yearly, mm -hmm. uh, which intending to 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 cover the the basis of the of the of the health. This is composed the salary of the uh, uh, payroll staff, mm -hmm. the operational costs like the fuel maintenance of the cars, yes. ambulances, all that. Yeah. Uh, the budget that we're getting from the government is a uh, is uh, like a five percent the overall budget of the Somali land, which which serves its purpose. Mm -hmm. serves its purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can say that the health sector of the Somali land is developing time to time, mm -hmm. and actually we will not reaching the the where we want to uh, to. to uh, where we can say that the health sector of Somaliland is a hundred percent is uh, effective, but we we wanted to strengthen our our health sector in order to improve our capacity. Uh, in the Minister of Health, uh, that the last four years we we are working how we can improve the capacity of the Minister of Health, mm -hmm. the capacity of the Minister of Health, mm -hmm. if uh, especially the the. Uh, admin and finance department yes. and, the, and, and the other departments of the Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. If I say something, the pre-service uh, uh, pre health sector like the medical uh, school is uh, and uh, where the doctors and cadres are come from, yes. uh, we have a different university. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a uh, uh, Amud, Hargeisa, Buroko, which are the public university. Mm -hmm. There is also other private university yes. that produce the medical doctors yes. uh, and, 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 and midwives and nurses. Mm -hmm. How long uh, does the training of the doctors here in Somaliland take? Uh, they, they, they training seven years. Seven, seven years. years. Yes, yes. Yeah, including the one year of the internship. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, there was, there is also a, a we have a we have a relation with the with the with the minister of health of Ethiopia, and uh, we 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 got from them the 
first part of the specialization of the doctors of the Somaliland mm -hmm. and one month before 25 different specialization uh, we have sent to the Ethiopia in order to study and the University of Ethiopia mm -hmm. with the postgraduate uh, uh, programs. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And the private institutions, how many, like how many are they, the private universities that are doing uh, training? I think the university that, uh, that produces the health care, th there are a lot. Uh, I am not saying that exact number, yes, but yes. They, 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 are, they, they, they are more than 10, they are more than 10. Oh. I, I can say that in between 15 to 20 universities, oh. they produce the different calories of the, of the health sector. Okay, okay. So the private sector is also very much um, uh, inclusive. In yes, the, uh, Somalian yes, 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 yes. In the health uh, implementation of the policies, yes, which is yes. very mm. great. Yes. Because we cannot only work with yeah, exactly, the public exactly, sector. Yeah, exactly. True. So my next question was about uh, outsourcing uh, professionals, like doctors from maybe other countries. For example, we have teachers in this country, and uh, we also have other professionals, so now we will major on the doctors. If, uh, maybe some of them come from Yemen, others come from uh, other countries. Yeah. So how do you vet them? How do you rate their training? How yeah. do you know that they are general yeah, yeah, yeah. doctors and not yeah. just people who have maybe uh, claimed that they are yeah. trained and yet they are not yeah. trained? How do you know that they are genuine so that they can be able to handle yeah. our people here in Somaliland with the professionalism that is required? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, as you say that there is a lot of directors that come from abroad. Mm -hmm. Uh, mainly they come from the Egypt and Syria and uh, Eastern Europe, yes. the, the, the different the different uh, area. Yes. So we have uh, what is called NHPC, National Health Professional Council, mm -hmm. which is a, a council that uh, mandated to uh, to uh, evaluate yes. the doctors, the, the health cadres, not only doctors. Yes. So when uh, uh, the foreign doctors are intended to come to Somaliland, mm -hmm. they should go to the National Health Professional Council. Mm -hmm. National Health Professional Council has a mandate to review, to uh, 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 assess, mm -hmm. to uh, see, to uh, make a question about the documentation of that doctor is they has mm -hmm. or have. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually uh, when the National Health Professional Council uh, allowed to do the work in Somaliland, mm -hmm. only those are uh, uh, permitted, they can do the, the, the work in Somaliland. All right. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. So we also have uh, uh, several businesses running, like the chemists, the pharmacies, uh, I, I we also wish to know the people who operate these chemists are they registered? How does the government make sure that they sell drugs that uh, are authentic, are genuine? And uh, because most of the times when you go to those chemists, maybe you will not find a doctor that will check you or uh, examine you before they give you the drugs, it's just over the counter. So, are these people also trained? How do you also know that it's not just a business like any other, but they are yeah. giving the best products to the people of Somaliland? Uh, thank you, and Esther. This area is a, is a most or more challenged area mm -hmm. because there is a, a lot of the uh, pharmacy facilities. Yes. These pharmacies, uh, the majority of them, they have no work, they, they have no the chemists or what's called the pharmacist. Mm -hmm. The previously there is no university producer the pharmacist, but currently there is a several university producer the pharmacist. Okay. So we are encouraging all the pharmacies, the the all, all the uh, pharmacy facility. Mm -hmm. The person who is working in that should should, should has the uh, uh, pharmacist pharmacy certificate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not implemented 100%, but there is a, 
when we are a uh, renewed the lease and we are encouraged those working should have the certificate with the far uh, pharmacy certificate yes. pharmacy certificate mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, as i say we have no nf pharmacies but we are encouraged to do that yes, yes. yeah so now we add them to make sure that they go through the training and uh, th that way they will be permitted to be able to operate the chemists yes. in, uh, in the right yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Welcome. Dr. Muhammad, Muhammad Abdi, Abdi yes. Yes, uh, the Somaliland uh, Director General for mm. the Ministry. Ministry of Health. I'm very humbled to be having this sitting with you and uh, we pray that Somaliland continues to grow in several years to come. You know we cannot do this in one day. Yeah. Yes, it's growing each day yeah. and go getting support also from the international community, yes. from other governments around the world and we pray that everything will be in place for Somaliland. Thank you so much for Welcome. your time. I Welcome. really appreciate it. Right. So Dr. Mohamed, I am humbled to be having this sitting with you, you and I appreciate that you are planning so many great things for the people of Somaliland. You have told me you have been in the center for? Since 28. Yes. Oh, 2008. Yes, that's great. And but you are still here. 2018. Oh, right, all right. That's nice. So at least you are taking this sector in the right direction. Yeah. From your plans that we have talked about, I can see that you are doing a great job. And I'm so grateful that you found time to have a sitting with me. Thank so you. keep it Mukali Global TV. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment in the comment section on any other videos that you want me to bring to you so that we continue spreading the positive vibes of Somaliland to the world. Welcome to Somaliland. Kusodao Somaliland. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.